Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 30. They read as follows. While they were eating, Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Of all the things that Jesus could have done before he left the earth, why do you think he decided to have a last supper with his disciples? It could have been that he wanted to share, you know, just a last meal with them, some last time together before his death, burial, and resurrection. But of course, it was probably more than that. We read the account of the Last Supper in our verses today, which we also celebrate today, this Holy Thursday. Jesus took the bread and he gave thanks and he said, eat, this is my body. He took the cup and he gave thanks and he said, drink, this is my blood for the forgiveness of sins. His body was broken for us and as scripture notes, by his stripes, we are healed. His blood was shed for us and as scripture notes, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Paul puts it like this in another place in scripture. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. As one scholarly site explains, when we take communion, it acts as a proclamation of Christ dying for us on the cross. And it acts as a proclamation of us believing that he will come again. We look to the past as far as what he did for us and we proclaim it. We proclaim that this is the way that the Lord made in order for us to be right with him. But we also look to the future and proclaim that yes, and he is coming back again to get his bride. When people ask, okay, why do you eat the bread and take the cup? What is this mean? It's our way of saying this is our way of communing with the Lord that we are proclaiming, yes, the Lord Jesus, the night he was betrayed, he took this cup, he took the bread, he was representing, okay, this is what I'm about to do for you. This is what I'm about to do for all humanity to make a way for humanity to have right relationship with the Lord. And it also serves as a reminder that, and you know what, I'm coming back again. The Lord Jesus Christ he is coming back again. Friends, the Last Supper wasn't just about Jesus having one last meal with his disciples, though I'm sure it was partial of that because he loved them very dearly. But I think it was also that he was looking forward to all of the disciples that would come into his fold, that he would have an opportunity, just like he did that first Last Supper, to sup with all of us. When we commune, we take communion, we are dining with the Lord. We are making space for him where we are commemorating and remembering what he did for us on the cross, the way he made for all of us to be in right relationship. But also we are remembering, you know what? And he's coming back for us again. And at that, both of that, us remembering what he did and what he will do, honors him. I take communion at church, of course, but I also like to take communion at home by myself on my own from time to time. I love to commune with the Lord. It's a beautiful time. I have a list of scriptures that I read through. I'll put those in the description for you guys if you'd like to see them, but I have a list of scriptures that I read through. I take a little bread. I take a little liquid and I remember. I remember what the Lord did for me on the cross. I remember. I remember that, oh my goodness, I so look forward to the day he is coming back again soon. It's a very sweet and just precious time where I get to commune personally with my Lord. On this Holy Thursday, let's remember the Last Supper and all it represents, that he died for us, that he's coming again, that he exchanged our broken bodies for his whole one, that we get to one day spend eternity with him in heaven. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this Holy Thursday, this Monday Thursday. We thank you, God, for the last, Lord, you know, just institute, Lord, command, Lord, you know, establishment that you gave us, Lord, and that is to commune with you, to remember, God, to remember what you did for us on the cross, to remember that you were coming back again soon, to honor you with our lives in between those two times, Lord, and to live for you and to give you the glory. We thank you, God, for the sacrifice. We thank you, God, for what you did for us, for all that you sacrificed for us, that we would have the opportunity to be right with you, God. And we take great joy, God, in remembering all that you did, God, and all that you were set to do, God. We don't know the day or the hour, God, but you are coming one day soon, God. And we give you the glory and we thank you, God, and we look forward to it. We honor you, Lord. We love you, God. We praise your holy name. You are so worthy, God. And we thank you for this wonderful Holy Thursday. In Jesus' name, thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoy this devotional, 
please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it. And I would love to have you guys. Happy Holy Thursday. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. God loves you. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.